Judas Priest's K.K. Downing has retired, but the band still felt they owed it to the fans to give them one last tour. They recruited Richie Faulkner, and now it's time for you to meet him. At a recent press conference, he talked about where he came from musically and how it feels to be a part of Judas Priest. I came from, obviously, that sort of era, yeah, like, you know, that classic rock, Zeppelin, Hendrix and all that. And um, I think, you know, K.K.'s playing was, like, Hendrix inspired as well, you know, so that, that's kind of similar there. Um, what it feels like to be a part of it, I mean, you can imagine, it's a bit kind of surreal, really, you know, but, um, but it's very well. And as a fan of the band and of the genre, you know, they are big shoes to fill, but I know what I've got to do, and I'm not trying to, um, what's the word? You know, Ken was in the band for a long time, you know, so I'm not trying to, you know, take over anything from that, take away anything from that, but as a fan and as part of the band now, you know, it's exciting. It's exciting as a guitar player and as a musician, you know. He talked about when he became attuned to the music of Priest. I think it was around the, the painkiller sort of era. Um, and then since then, I've been in various, you know, bands, cover bands, you know, growing up around London and stuff. And we always played Priest songs. You know what I mean? Um, so I was probably around 15, 16, something like that. You know, and I kind of came in listening to Painkiller and then worked my way back through, you know, finding it, different songs through the back catalogue, so, you know. And I'm still finding out new songs now, really, you know. Lastly, he was asked about the challenge of playing some of the lesser known songs of the Judas Priest catalogue. I knew some of them already, to be honest. Uh, you know, and it's, it's kind of where I come from, musically. So it wasn't difficult in a sense. You know, that's what I've been brought up on, that's what I've been raised on. And um, the ones I didn't know, it was quite easy to go in, you know. I so. said to Richie, come up, I said, and uh, come up to the house and, you know, I'll, if you get stuck on any bits, I'll help you. And he was showing me bits. <laughs> in the end. <laughs> you know, the songs I haven't played for 35 years ago, Richie, Richie got them down. I said, how's that going again? Judas Priest's farewell tour starts in October, but a definitive ending hasn't been announced.